creating art and draw with a lot of tools is a very interesting and fun thing to do. Using markers, watercolors, pencil color, ink pen are great mediums to interpret your art. But what if all you have is a pencil? I mean, let's face it, not everybody has the money to buy all these stuff, but anyone can afford the pencil. Not this good. So, how do you draw and create contrast so your art can look crispy? I hope I said that right. Learning as a traditional artist means you use pens a lot and the secret to getting the contrast right is understanding the different levels that your pencil can go. That is where great skills come from. This gives you a wide range of shading and can be used to represent different colors from the dullest to the brightest. To get the great skill of your reference, you can adjust it on your photo settings and voila, you're a step closer. For this drawing, I'm going with a darker approach by shading the entire region and then erasing the lighter part to show the direction of sunlight on the drawing and give it more depth. I then draw the edges. In this case, I'm using a HP pencil. I think I'm not comfortable with this at the moment, but sometimes I also use a 2B or a 3B. Since we are all learning, you can try out different pencils and see what works for you. And maybe you can leave it in the comment section. My application of this method depends mostly on my reference, like if it has more darker spots than light spots, it's more easier to just shade it all over. Soft edges. It took me a while to realize that I'm ruining my drawing with too much sharp edges. The perfect mix of soft and sharp edges helps to balance your drawing. By drawing this side with similar contrast with soft edges and the side with opposing contrast with sharp edges. I know, I know, it gets a little complicated sometimes to figure that out, but trust me, when you practice more, it gets easier. For this drawing, I'm going with a lighter approach which shows that there's really no restriction and you can achieve a drawing in the multiple ways. And I try to shade according to the flow to make it more dynamic and less flat. negative space and this basically means empty space learning how to use the empty space to your own advantage while drawing can make the whole difference when it comes to contrasting when drawing i leave some spaces for the areas that receive the most light and it also helps to show the direction of light on the subject sometimes i smudge with my hand but also used a blending stuff to cover a large area before I start shading.
I'm blending it out with a lighter pencil so the shadow won't be too sharp. 